Oh man, darn it. I didn't mean to go live right away. I actually meant to. Oh crap. <laughs> now that I started the live, I gotta keep going. So we're gonna sit outside and yeah, we'll take a couple beers with us and we'll get the cozy set up. Crap. I did not mean to go live right away. Oh well. Let's see if anybody joins us. Me. Darn it. Let's see. Who's here? Sorry, this was I was trying. What's up, man? I was trying to get set up first and give myself a couple minutes. And then I hit the button to go live before I was actually ready. Smoking Joe, what's up? Tyler, how you doing? So I'm trying to get set up here. Bar pardon me. Oh crap. I feel like such a noob. All right. Terry, Ronnie. Oh man, I'm so sorry, guys. So my plan, uh, well, that's what's up. Hold on. Uh, like trying to do a bunch of stuff here. I'm so sorry. All right. I don't even have my tripod set up. Nothing. The whole thing was, I said, all right, I'm gonna set up a live stream. So obviously, I had to get some libations. So, oh gosh have the camera set up lights set up and we're smoking i'm smoking some uh trout today i keep wanting to say salmon it looks just like salmon but it's not salmon it's trout oh man good morning everybody uh give me a second to try to get jeez i feel like i got caught with my pants down or something i am trying to oh, a little tripod i'm trying to get all situated so that I can sit and talk to you guys for a couple minutes while my salmon oh shoot where did I put the thermometer back in the house of course what well, ah, keep, keep saying salmon it's trout while my trout was cooking and I wanted to go live at 11 a.m. exactly but of course I hit the wrong button and started the live earlier than I wanted to. So as opposed to me stopping the live stream and starting it over or something like that, we're just gonna roll with it. Damn it. We're doing it live. I'm gonna get caught back up in a couple seconds. Hopefully, <sighs> catch my breath once I get once I get situated. So let me get you guys up on a tripod. So hold on a second. You guys get to see my ugly mug. Alright. So let's see. The skin. Yeah. Now we're set up on a tripod. Whew, goodness gracious. That was difficult. Alright, so let's see. We got noobs in the house. Tyler's in the house. Smoking Joe, what's going on, sir? Morning. Uncle Steve funny um i am actually using your shake with this trout guess what shake i'm using with this trout come on one guess go ahead comment down below what what do you think i'm using ronnie d terry what's up well noob unfortunately no yard work for me today it is uh raining actually might have to get a jacket it's getting kind of chilly sitting out here it was warm enough when i was just out here uh oh Sheldon, all right, <laughs> no problem. Well, Sheldon, I'm like, oh, okay. Ron says, good morning from South Florida. Good morning to you, sir. <laughs> Joe, you're funny. <laughs> I love it, Joe, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, smoking Saturday. Hello, hello, hello. Uh well John. John says he loves my videos. Well thank you so very much, sir. Uncle Steve, yes, yes indeed. You are absolutely correct. Oh man. <laughs> no salt block. I don't actually own a salt block. 
Um, if somebody wants to hook me up with a salt block, feel free. What's going on, Ru Russell? I'm about to say Raspberry Russell. What am I doing up so early? Man, it's 11 o'clock. I've been up. Actually, what's crazy is I woke up at like quarter to three this morning. For whatever reason, I fell asleep early yet again last night. When I say early, like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And I woke up and it was like quarter to three. Wide awake. To the point where I'm like, okay, I'm going to get up. I'm going to go pee. I'm going to, you know... I said, all right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go down and lay on the couch and watch TV. So I started watching the movie. Um, it was the movie with Daniel Radcliffe when he he joined that murder gang. Not gang, but murder game. Um, and I, I know I fell asleep during the middle of it, but I caught like the beginning, part of the middle, and then the end. So I need to go back and watch it again. But I was wide awake. Then I fell asleep, fell back asleep. Then I woke up again probably about 6.30, 7 o'clock and have been up ever since. Watching YouTube this morning, watching TikTok this morning. Then I finally, you know, took a shower, shaved my head. I hadn't shaved my head in over a week. Shaved my head, got dressed, put pants on, Joe. Thank you very much for asking. Put some pants on, came outside, and I'm cooking this trout. Don't say salmon. It's not salmon. Cooking this trout for us. Uh, most of you guys know, or, or I've told, spoken about it a few times. Um, during Lent, or for this Lent, we gave up meat. So I'm eating only seafood. And then one of the other things too, my wife, uh, I've been trying to do with my wife is intermittent fasting. So I haven't uh, eaten, oh crap, drinking a beer too early. Oh darn. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Dino, what's going on? Uh, nice and tight barbecue. Good morning. Good, good, good. Good morning, Alabama lockdown style. What's up, Greg? Mr. Hockett. Oh my gosh, Jack, I can imagine. Shoot, 11, 10, 9, 8, 8 o'clock in the morning. Hopefully you're drinking some coffee or something, sir. Gosh, you know, some of us. Mm. <laughs> right? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I'm drinking a beer. Though, this is only 96 calories per 12 ounce. <laughs> mm. Don't tell her, okay? Don't tell her. Hey, look, if you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you're on mobile, all you have to do is kind of like back out one screen, and then you can hit the thumbs up from where you're commenting. If you back out one screen, then you can see where you can give me a thumbs up. So this morning I am uh, smoking some trout, and I have the trout on the on the trigger. Trigger's around the corner. I'm sitting at the front of the house. The trigger's on the side of the house, and we're gonna take it up to 140 degrees, and we're at 73 degrees currently. So, ooh, yeah, man, get that pasta, Eric. How you doing this morning? I'm smoking some trout this morning. So, I have the big boy camera set up with the mic set up and the tripod. So we're actually filming, I am filming. So those of you guys who are on this live stream are going to get a, this this video might go up towards the end of this week. Uh, if not the end of this week, it'll be Tuesday's video for, ne for next week. When I say this week, next week, because Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, that Tuesday video, I have a few things that are in the, not in the works, but I've already filmed. I try to film ahead. So if you guys, those of you guys who don't know, I try to film a week. I try to stay a week ahead so that in case something happens, I have a few days to actually film something if necessary. Yo, did you see my pants? Hopefully you saw my pants. Uh, so yeah, I'm sitting in the front of the house or at the front of the house and those of you guys here, let's get it. So I have a, I have a table set up here and a little tripod, but there's, there's my view and there's where you guys see and hear all the traffic in the cars. I have a little bit of apple that came off of the tree back there that's kind of dying um, that I have to cut up. I was actually getting ready to, um, it's a little, 
Um, hold on. Don't get me the lion. Let me turn this light off. Hold on. Booyah! <laughs> Uh, I think if you look down in the comments down in the description, so this is the camera that I picked up recently. This is the Sony RX100 Mark 7 or, or yeah, 7, and it has an audio jack, an audio input jack. So this is just basically a, a mic, boom, no power, no nothing. So hopefully I can't mess it up. I have messed it up by having the audio volume too low. I'm still trying to work on figuring out exactly what the volume needs to be. But there is the brand, and it is just one that has a 3.5 millimeter jack that goes directly into the camera. If you look in the description below, under my um, camera equipment, I do believe I actually, I do believe I actually posted or uh, put a link, an Amazon link, to what this is. Uh, yes, James. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Sean, how you doing? Yeah, I, uh, so, I might have to, I gotta go get a hoodie, man. It's kind of chilly. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, my head's full. That's better. Uh, all right. Yes. Ha ha. Repping the birds first thing in the morning. Good morning, Larry. How you doing? What's up, Jay? Another West Coaster in the building. You know, get my drink on. First thing in the morning on the empty stomach when I shouldn't have started drinking for another hour. Yeah, you know. No comment, Joe. No comment. <laughs> Saturday morning TMI. Oh, man. Two weeks? I thought it was only about two days. Maybe things were done a little differently back in the Stone Ages. <laughs> D-Man, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, James, you know, we're gonna, you know, there's only two things that come from Texas. <laughs> Steers in. <laughs> Jay, that's funny. Somehow, oh, well, you know, he is in law enforcement, so that's probably why he's no longer in the <laughs> them. <laughs> All right, Uncle Steve, I'll take that back. <laughs> Kenny Brown, how you doing this evening? Or shoot, I'm so used to doing these live streams in the evening. It is first thing in the morning. It's only 11.15 just about. Uh, but I'm drinking like it's the evening. That's what that going sure. I won't say nothing else better to do, but might as well. Yo, look at look at this light. This, this is, uh, man, this camera making me all look off the phone, making me look all good. Shit. Skin all fly. Look at, look at. Hold on, let me, let me comb out my beard. Make sure it looks on point. Ah, here we go. All right. Now let's see if any of the kids come outside to try to see what I'm doing. They're probably all still asleep. I know Chase has the number three asleep. Apparently, she and my wife were up until like. Almost 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. This whole being in the house thing for them has seriously screwed up their schedules. Seriously. So, 
I'm the only one that still kind of gets up on a normal schedule. Ah. Carlos, I'm chilling, man. I am uh, smoking some trout today. First time smoking trout. Never smoked trout before. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and smoke that. Um, a couple of you guys have been asking me to smoke some different types of fish. So, you know, we're going to go ahead and get that done. I smoke salmon all the time, and I cook salmon all the time. So the, I'm gonna say the next biggest piece of fish that I cook most often has been this trout. Um, because I've been able to get it from Sam's, it's right next to the, to the salmon. So um, my wife actually saw a recipe for some trout. She's like, hey, have you ever seen this fish? And I'm like, oh yeah, I see the salmon all the time. Just never got any. She's like, well, pick some up so we started eating the trout probably about two three months ago and i usually pick up almost a piece of trout every week or two now that we've been doing um just straight pescatarian uh being uh just seafood only for the past almost month now i have picked up at least one piece of trout a week and it seems like saturday or sunday is when we have been eating it so i'm gonna smoke it today yeah, buddy. <laughs> Get some of that free twilight action. Sure enough. Yeah, my friends in Hawaii just smoked some marlin, and man, it looked good. Well, ah, my problem with trying to smoke different things is usually the cost. I'm like, I hate buying something, experimenting with it, and then wasting time. Um, wasting my, you know, money basically, and my time. Hey, BZ, how you doing this evening? How's the weather? If you can't hear it, all of the, it's wet out here today. Uh, you're, I think you're in Southern California, but it is a little wet. You can hear the cars and such going down on the main road, which is behind me. So I'm a block off of, of the, the main, one of the main roads here, and you can hear every car. So those of you guys who complain about the cars, yeah, let's see, here's another one going up the street and you can hear it. <clears throat> Sorry. But yeah, 100 strokes of that beer, bro, keep it nice and shiny. <laughs> I am not that vain, Russell, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> the cooking cop and babe, yeah. <laughs> welcome, sir. Welcome. Hopefully, you've labeled your seasonings, your spices. Um, I, I can't take you in to see mine, cause you know, I got some secret spices I kind of have to hide uh, before I would start to do a live stream. Larry says trout on on the cube makes you take me back to fish trips. My pops and I took. If you caught some, then you got to eat it that night. Well, shoot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh man, BZ is so funny. That that's funny. He says, "Corona, California." No pun intended. I'm sure, dude. I'm sure. These times we live in. Yo, Alton. Hold on, Alton. You know, I was thinking about you earlier today because you posted on Facebook about the 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 um the colored band of the day. <laughs> uh, the colored band of the day, so you can go into work. So do you know what the color is going to be ahead of time so that you can like accessorize and wear like a matching or a, you know, like a complimentary, what are you doing? A complimentary color so that, you know, your band can match your, your outfit. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. All right. That's what's up, baby. We're labeling the season is this week. So. When you when you label them and show them next time, you know, shout me out, give me a little credit for that. All right, uh, but yeah, I'm all about efficiency. So the whole thing is, I look down at my seasonings, and I think I've talked about it. If you go back um, in my archive here, in the videos, in the library, and look for like seasonings, I I know I did a video about seasonings probably a year or two ago, talking about like basic seasonings and other things like that, but you can see that I've labeled them and I use the P-Touch machine on some of the ones that last a little longer and then other ones I just use a, a Sharpie and I write what's what's in there. Uh, also I use the Sharpie on some of the lighter colored 
tops like the reds, the yellows, red, yellow, because there's really only like three colored tops. There's red, yellow, and black. Um, I'm trying to think of any other colors. Oh, so there's a couple silver ones too, but other than that, yeah. Yeah, I have no clue. Yesterday I was lucky the band was purple and my shirt was purple. Today I have on brown band with a green shirt. <laughs> well, you know, that's all right. I understand. Uh-oh. Yo, all y'all California folks up early. I really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I know this was a rather impromptu live session. And the whole thing is, and I'll tell you, actually, I'll show you guys. <clears throat> um, I am smoking some trout this morning. What's up, Lep? Uh, let's see here. We're on the Traeger, and we have some trout in here. So hold on, let me let me get my my pan shot on. All right, so you guys can check it out. So we're at 95 degrees, and I said I was going to sit out here for about an hour and talk to you guys and drink some drinks. And though I have failed, Alton, you probably can. Or out and you probably can understand this um i started the live stream at 11 and uh <laughs> whoops <laughs> i started doing some smoking i'm editing brussels sprouts video well that's what's up man definitely definitely cool uh, red number one red number oh leprechaun i guess Hunkering down is uh, is definitely the move. Josh said, "Josh, you working? And you uh, you off? Just sitting at home right now? You know." Uh, Chevy Trailblazer. There, I remember we looked at one of those to buy. Uh, ooh, trout and tilapia. We need to do that next week. All right. This is what this community is all about, you know, linking up with folks. It's like, hey, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? It's like, yo, yo, I didn't know he was like right up the street from me. He watches you. Dash, yo, that. that. See, that's cool. That is definitely cool. Big Steve. Uh, <laughs> Big Steve says, uh, morning, good people. I as well need to start labeling. Man, I, I used to sit and fuss and, you know, you, sometimes you can tell the differences between the seasonings by the size of the bottles and other things like that but once you get like similar size bottles enough of them they all run together and i mean get the label in them things i'll drink a little drink smoke a little smoke that's a country song don't know nothing about that smoking joe mm -hmm. oh, all right that's what's up, Josh. I am working full time as well. Still, I go into the office on Mondays and Wednesdays uh, primarily. Uh, there's nothing much going on, but in case, well, I go in and I check some of the computer labs to make sure that there's nothing temperature alarm wise. But I use it primarily so I can get my videos edited and, and some quiet, some relative quiet. Uh, but you know, that's me. I had to get back to basics and put a couple of brisks on the other day. Uh, I forgot how well I put, how well I put brisket. I had done it so long. The kids killing it. Well, that's what's up. <laughs> Shoot, I've been doing some briskets. I've done, I think, six briskets on on the number one drum recently. And dude, that thing is a brisket machine. I, I love it. It, it just the briskets come out so perfectly right. Just like boom, so so good. And the fact that it's just on the side of the house, I get all the smoke flavor and, and all of the, the everything that I need in it. And it's so close, I don't have to worry about walking all the way back. But like, the best thing about it is I can stay dry when it's raining. I don't have to put boots on. I can walk and go to the smoker in my socks if necessary. But yeah. So let's see, Jamal Wilkins, how you doing? What's up with you? JG, what's going on, Jay? Uh, so the whole thing was I have done a live or two 
you know, on an off time aside from a Wednesday. And I know that there's a lot of folks just sitting at home doing nothing. So I figured I would just pick up my phone. I use my phone to do live streams while I am cooking some trout. If you miss the trout, I'll show you the trout again in probably another 15, 20 minutes. I'm keeping my eye on the temperature. It's at 100 degrees right now. And <clears throat> once it's done, I'm taking it in the house and we're going to throw it down. We're going, I probably should make something else. But maybe do some eggs or something. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, man, I love the siphon, uh, Cyclone and the Typhoon. Those were dope trucks. I remember as a kid, um, those, those were like 90, 90 to 94, that time range, I'm sure. If that, yeah, probably maybe 92 to 94. But... I love those trucks. I always wanted one of those. Um, the Cyclone or Typhoon, definitely. I had a friend. I used to walk past his house, and his dad had a Typhoon, which was the little blazer that was, you know, done up. <laughs> Flukerville, <laughs> representing. <laughs> hey, Terry says, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Yes, indeed. Please do. If you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up. It not only does it make me feel better about myself, it really does help these videos and my channel. So if you could take a moment and hit that thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> Shoot. Them little trucks with sleepers, unless you knew. Unless you knew. Uh, all right, that's what's up, Jamel. He says, uh, long time no see. I've been gardening and working. What do you have in the garden? Uh-oh, we got another Eric in the building. <laughs> I know, man. Eric, what's up, man? Eric Moreno is in the building. He's, you know, there's an OG. I haven't seen you in the comment in, in, in the comments on the live streams in a minute. Appreciate you being here with us this morning. This fine, gloomy Saturday morning. Maybe I'll start talking about the cars that want to go to, up and down the street. So that was a Toyota Highlander. See what is this? This is one of those little crap tested Chevys, and I don't have my glasses on because I can't see what it is. It's not the Equinox. It's short, smaller than the Equinox. Uh, what are we doing this Saturday morning? I am smoking some trout. We have some steelhead trout I have in the smoker. Uh, <laughs> sure enough, Joe. Um, they were they. You know, you gotta you gotta put it in perspective, because my wife's minivan could probably spank one of those things nowadays but you know fast now is way faster than fast back then <clears throat> how did your kids like that pepper did they try that four to one brisket on them yet no um so basically when i got back from uh texas we went right into lent and i haven't done any um anything but i've been cooking only seafood for the most part um, and I don't really cook briskets for myself. Um, we don't, I don't cook briskets for myself. Usually whenever I'm cooking a brisket it's for a customer. So yeah, I, you know, we have another about two weeks left before I can cook anything but seafood. So no, I haven't done anything with the pepper. I've been not slacking, but I've been doing other things, man. Um, you know, just chilling. But the pepper, they were like, oh my God. <laughs> no, uh, just like Bill Griegel. Oh my gosh, man! So smoking Joe. My wife actually had a. Oh, not my wife. My mom, back in the day, had a. I think it was an eighty or eighty four Bu or eighty. I think it was the eighty four Buick Regal, and it was sky blue, but it had a three hundred two in it. And I didn't know what that thing was until right after she got rid of it. And like every now and again, my mom would get on it, getting on the highway, and I'm like, "Mom, this thing goes fast! Like, what? What's, yo?" And pfft, man, mm -mm. Uh, let's see. Uh, Four Pro GT. <laughs> The Pro GTs weren't too bad, but I mean, obviously, they, you know, they had nothing for a Cyclone. Yeah. 
Let's see. Let's, 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 I'm clicking on Lone Star Insulator. I've seen that. Uh, I, I, I peed you, man. I, I checked you out. I saw the video, I, I guess. Are you still cooking or doing the thing with uh, smoking and grilling with AB? So, I peed you, man. I peed you. Uh, hopefully. Let's see. What is that? That, I think, might be an Equinox. Or Traverse. Chevy Traverse, maybe. Let's get these likes up. Yes, indeed. Please, please, please. What's up with you? Holy cow, am I really that far behind on the on the comments? No, maybe I'm not. Um Alright, we got CJ's Q up in the building. Guess that car. Yeah, uh, we'll see what happens. It doesn't there's not many people on the road. Those of you guys who have been watching my videos for a while, excuse me, can probably tell that this is low as far as traffic going up and down my street. Um, not that they're super duper busy or it's super duper busy. Uh, let's, let's see. Come on, man. <laughs> oh man. So all this is totally off subject here. Since we're all we're on all these streaming platforms, hard with the stay at home. Have any of you checked out the platform on Netflix? Um, so the the Alton or Alton, sorry, the the one where you can kind of watch a movie all together. I've seen a couple of my friends post up about that, haven't actually done it. Uh, let's see. All right, guess that one. Japanese. All right, that was an infinity. I think that was a. And again, I don't have my glasses on, so I couldn't see the model number, the exact model number. But I think that was like a G40. No, 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 not the G. Whatever the SUV is. You can send me a Steelers hat. I will uh, go ahead and start a fire with it. Go right ahead. Feel right ahead. Actually, you know what I would do with it? All right, here we go. It's an American pick em, pick em up truck. What do you guys guess? What do you guys think that was? Um, and we have a minivan. All right, that was a Toyota Sienna. You probably wouldn't guess that. VW nerds, definitely. Um, so anyway, talking about the Steelers hat, I do have an aunt that lives in Verona. So you send a Steelers hat, I'll send it to her with some brisket. Oh my gosh, I talk about the traffic being low. And then that was like an Acura, I think that was an RL that went up the street. E-A-G-L-E-S Eagles! You have, yeah, yeah. Try chip chicken and a tomahawk going on the grill. That's what's up. I saw that tomahawk. The tomahawk was great. Ken, how you doing, sir? Been a minute since I've seen you on a live. So glad to see you here. Definitely. Uh, smoking, Joe. Read between these lines, okay? It'll be a cold, cold day in hell before I put on any sort of cowboy girls anything. Brother Bear says, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> Alvin, I have seen that one. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Alice says, hey, Smokey Joe's Pit, did you see that new social distancing meme? The one that had the Super Bowl trophy on one side and the Cowboy star on the other? On the other side of the pick? Hilarious. I agree. I'll, I'll drink to that one. Hold on. Cheers. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Larry says, uh, besides Sam's and Costco, you have a spot for Port Valley. He said it out here at Prop. Uh, I found it once and sprouts up here and there, but hard to find anywhere else. The Restaurant Depot. Um, they have restaurant. They have uh, pork belly consistency consistently. One of the other things too, most Americans do not go into Asian, Lotte, H Marts. Go into an Asian market, you're guaranteed to find uh, pork belly. Guaranteed. They love pork belly. Asians love pork belly. All right, Alan Garcia says, "What up, man? Love the videos. I'm smoking a brisket as we speak. Well, good luck with your brisket, sir." Uh, four cylinder or real smooth four. Hey. All right, so let's see. We got a Honda Odyssey coming down the street now. 
That <laughs> smoking Joe loves the Chevys. Man, I have a friend that used to uh, hear cars rolling down the road and would tell me what car was. So I can tell the difference between the Mustang and the Camaro. That's usually about it. This is a, a Saturn. What is that? It's not a Saturn view. I don't know. One of the weird Saturns. You know, they, they didn't last. Uh, but certain cars I can... Certain cars I can hear and tell exactly what it is. Especially back in the day, I could definitely tell the difference between a, a 5.0 and a Camaro. Um, nah, I never, never, you know, I couldn't really talk about specs and stuff like that. But he, he probably saw that car at the track or something like that or at a show. So he has some insider knowledge. It was a Ford Ranger, so close, close, close. Let's see, what is this one? This is a Hyundai. Little. I don't even know what that little, little wagon is. How am I drumming my catering gigs? Uh, word of mouth, man. Plus, I've been at this for a while. Uh, I, I recently. <laughs> so, 2020, I've been at this for six years. So there's a lot of folks that know who I am, that know what I do, and they hit me up, man. I don't have to, I don't advertise or anything like that, aside from posting some pictures now and again, now and again on Instagram and doing stuff like this on YouTube. I actually have gained or garnered a couple um, catering gigs from YouTube. One or two of the folks who watched the videos, who saw my videos, had, had hit me up. Um, other than that, man, word of mouth. People know who I am, and that's it. I'm going to test AWS. All right, set up for a client. Nice. Mm. We're not even talking about it. Uh, we're getting the ring now since we just signed Greg the leg. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so here's the F-150. That's rolling up the street right now. Unfortunately for us Texas folks, Jerry had his blood replacement with him for about nine years ago. <laughs> what if a Camaro had a five liter in it? Um, that would be sacrilege first and foremost. Come on, man. I'm, I got, because this is not my normal time to stream. I have like regular you know, like comments and stuff like that and and text messages that I'm getting. Well, let's see. Uh, this fool will be like, that's a... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, uh, out, man. I'm sure he probably has some insider knowledge. Uh, serving your gigs during the lockdown. So, Ken, um, I don't serve. Usually, I, I take a, a meal. All right, we got a Nissan Altima. Altima. See, Altima. You see what you did there? You messed me up. Altima. Let's see. What is that? Oh, another. Is that an Altima or Maxima? I can't. That's a Maxima going up the street. Maybe they waved at each other, you know. Mini catapult. <laughs> hey CJ, that's what's up. People do know me, man. I I um I talk to people. I, people know who I am. I, it's really funny sometimes. I can be out and about somewhere and somebody recognize me and they're like, "Wait a minute, I know you from somewhere." Nah, not me. Uh, you got me. I, I just play innocent, play dumb. <laughs> Uh, but Ken, to answer your question, for the most part, I take food, I hand it to the, the person who ordered it, and that's it. I drop and go. I don't normally do much of the, um, yeah. Alan says, no foil with foil and or butcher paper. So I always wrap my briskets in aluminum foil pans. I want to capture the jus from the brisket. And most anything I do, I wrap it in a, in a foil pan, put it in a foil pan, cover it up with foil, and let it finish cooking. So, hey, 39 of you guys on the live stream. Currently, we're 39 minutes in. That is pretty dope. If you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. At the 45 minute mark, we're going to go ahead and check on the uh, trout once again. So, yeah, that's cool. Rules and regulations are tough out here. FDA is hella strict. Well, uh, BZ, you know, there is quite a gray area. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. Zach Attack, what's going on, man? Uh, let's see. We got the Xfinity vehicle rolling past. That was a Chevy. What is that? 2500D, maybe. 
Uh, just things you know, you're gonna be on the porch watching cars go by talking about that's my car. <laughs> Yo, my kids call cars. We got a Mitsubishi. Um, I don't even. That's the the new. I think they kind of rebranded that the little SUV as the as the Eclipse. Um, but yo, album. My kids call cars. I grew up calling cars, and I got them calling cars. Uh, but he says, "Man, Dash, next thing you know, you're gonna be on the porch watching cars go by talking about that's my car. Don't act like I was the only one that didn't do that. Shoot, dude, I still do that. Uh, my kids, you know, for nowadays, when I spot a high end car." That's when I'm like, yeah, that, that's my Maserati. Uh, we got another Maxima went by. <clears throat> CJ who? Nah, man, Ken, I don't use foil. I just use the, uh, the foil hands. It's much easier to me because I can also use them as transportation devices. <laughs> Go ahead, Eric. Eric said it's hard to take me seriously with that ridiculous hat on your head. You know what's so funny? I purchased my hats, and I only purchased hats that have the logo on the front and the back for this specific reason. Because I don't want to have my hat turned this way. You know, yeah, you can see it, but then the bill covers my face and it puts shadow on my face. But when I'm cooking and things like that, I want the, I want the light to really be able to hit my face. But I also want to remind you, go birds. <laughs> Gotta get something on that girl's day, maybe a rack of ribs. That's what's up, Jay. <laughs> Look, oh gosh. Uh. <laughs> Look at Joe says El Chapo, <clears throat> Alpin, Weird Al Yank Yankovic, <clears throat> Alton. See the difference? Mm -mm. Not really. Jeff, what's going on, man? I know it's you. You probably you probably getting off work or you working today? Hopefully you're not working today. Uh, barbecue 951 says what? Well, I guess he's saying what's up, Dash, or what's up, Dash? I'm cooking a brisket right now for a customer. Been cooking since 12 a.m. Golly, little center flying down the block. Slow down. All right, <laughs> gotta throw some venison ribs on the barbie later. Well. Dude, you be easy, Russell. Tell Alicia I said hello. I didn't see the link, so maybe YouTube blocked it. Uh, kills me. <laughs> the net with the chill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can go get it. You want me to go get that hat? Because, yo, my ears are, are kind of chilly right now. And Alton loves, you know... Dude, you, you you love that hat. Um, so I can go get it if you want me to. <clears throat> nah. I don't have the wrong bird on my hat, man. I grew up born and raised in Philadelphia. I live in Baltimore. There's a big, big difference. I'm sure it's logos on both sides. <laughs> 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 if my girl today, I'll get her clay soil in the backyard. Rain makes for grilling in Texas ice. I would end up with grill marks on my face. Well, Ken, so, so sorry to hear that, man. You need to build some sort of patio or something, to, like some pavers. We'll be cooking today. Uh, what is that? Ramonte Diaz. Is it Diaz or Diaz? Walking up the street. Let's see. Uh, we'll be cooking today. I am I'm smoking some trout. Uh, we got another two minutes before. Well, actually, one minute. And now. One minute. I'll check on it. Ah, it's now we're good. Birds are chirping. Birds are always chirping around here, man. That is a Hyundai. I think that's a cilantro. Cilantro? Sonata? Sonata. Maybe. I don't know. Again, don't have my glasses on. I probably, I'm not, I didn't, it's not salmon. It is uh, actually trout. So, and I'm, I'm checking the thermometer. We are at only 120 degrees and we're at the 45 minute mark. I said it was going to take about an hour. What's up, Kent? How you doing this morning? Morning, morning, morning. And the Acura came back. 
And another Hyundai. SUV though. Anyway. This. Alright. Raul Ramonte. Alright. Now the outside area is uh, phase three of the remodel. Inside of the house comes first. Shoot, I already know, Ken. I already know. My garages have taken the back seat to everything around this house. Uh, I'm going to jump in the shower, about to, but I'm listening. Well, do we need to sing for you while you're in the shower? Or are you going to keep us entertained while you're in the shower? You know, this is twice has been too much information this this morning, Joe. Like, really? Ah. <laughs> uh, you make any sauce or anything to accompany the trout? No, man, we eat the trout, man. We, I'm not a whole big putting a whole bunch of sauce on stuff. And now nah, we, I want to taste the seasoning. I want to taste the trout. That's it. I didn't even make a side to be completely honest. <clears throat> I just started it. <laughs> My wife hates me these times. Uh, <laughs> he's a little joke. This scrub the tramp stamp. <laughs> uh, the bird chirping is good enough for him. All right, perfect. Izzy eats, man. You heard time finding meat for your business. No. Uh, Restaurant Depot. The good thing about Restaurant Depot is because it is not open to the public, there is still meat to cook or be cooked. So let's see. Check the trout. Oh yeah, look at that color. It wasn't on my phone. I had to take a picture of that right there. That looks real good. What do you guys think? And of course, Uncle Steve's. Thank you, sir. Actually, I'm down to one bottle of the Gator Shake. I need to get some more of that. Uh, I will be ordering some more soon and very soon uh some herb garlic would be good on the top of that now oh, man mm -mm. i'm gonna taste the fish so honda sonata made in mexico base plant and <laughs> day cilantro <laughs> hmm. All right, so Ramon Day, uh, hopefully you just saw, I'm using my trigger. That's the Trigger Pro 22. That's Tracy, my Trigger Pro 22. <laughs> I'm not reading that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, buddy. Well, thank you guys. Well, Ramon Day, obviously I, I couldn't see your comment as I was uh, heading to the smoker to, to show you what it was. That's not a big trout. That's that's a fillet, man. That was what two and a half, three pounds. Nah, that's that's normal. Que tipo queso eso? Tipo queso. It's queso normal. <laughs> what are you pairing with my fish? My fingers? <laughs> like seriously. Uh, like I, I was saying, my wife is going to hate me because I prepared zero sides. Uh, probably going to just fry up some eggs. So get a shake on the trout smoke is good. I've never had it out, in, uh, to be completely honest. But the gator shake on seafood is amazing. So I am hoping that the gator shake will be good on the trout. Um, we've been cooking I pr primarily. The only thing I've been using has been the Gator Shake. Uh, we got an older Acura, the TL. The, primarily, the only thing I've been using has been the Gator Shake because of the fact that we've been only eating seafood. April 10th. I cannot wait for April 10th to get here. We got another two weeks of this. Pescatarianism. Ah, so my daughter went to her butcher. Um, they had a whole hog process last month. Someone went in saying they were mother and sister and took all the meat home. Aww. That's no good. Can't. That sucks. Hmm. Can't. That's why you have to be careful talking about what you're doing 
on social medias and stuff like that. You know, it's crazy. And people will talk to me, you know, I won't say talk to me, but people get at me and they're like, why did you post that thing like two weeks after you did it? Because I don't want anybody knowing what I'm doing. Maybe your daughter, does your daughter post anything on Facebook or Instagram or something like that saying she was having a pig process? I wouldn't have stated anything talking about that pig being processed until I had it back in my hands. I mean, what's crazy is the person that probably went in and, and got that, took it from her, is probably somebody she knows. All right, get yourself a big bottle of Gator Shake that you won't regret it. Old Jay, I am, I'm hoping. Mm. Deuces, CJ. Be easy, man. Mm. <laughs> no, sir. Oh, man, you live inland. Maybe that's why you can't get me good fish and decent fish. Let's see, what is this? Another Hyundai. Well, that's the minivan. I don't even know what that minivan is. Grilled asparagus goes great with trout. It sure does, Ken. And you know what's crazy? I do have some asparagus in the house, but I probably will. Oh, speaking of asparagus, how many of you guys get asparagus pee? All right. You, you smell the asparagus as you pee. But I do have some asparagus in the house. I might, might, might uh, cook up some asparagus, but I'm sitting out here talking to you guys, so I can't cook any sides because I'm, I'm out here talking to y'all. Um, man. Keep the asparagus away from my house. More homies don't ask. Why do you don't even ask? What? Tiny town, 700 people. Some people are just dirty. Everybody knows each other. Sure enough, that spicy R man. I haven't used it on anything but that chicken that I've cooked. That cooked that in that original, um, original video. Everybody gets asparagus pee. Yeah, but the whole thing is not everybody can smell the asparagus pee. Uh, is he? No. Meat prices have not increased, um, which, is, which is crazy. But what has increased has been my bills from Sam's. Um, because I've been going to Sam's like weekly. Shoot, I spent 100 bucks last week. I spent $200 yesterday, at, or not yesterday, Thursday at Sam's. My kids and my wife are at home, so I've been going to Sam's and getting more stuff. Sure enough, JG says, "Yeah, we don't need you don't need side you don't need stinking sides. You just cook the meat." I agree, man. <laughs> Eric says, "Get cooking, man. I'm chilling out here with y'all, chilling, drinking some beer." why Alton and I are friends. This is why Alton and I are friends. Yo, I'm not reading the comment. So if you have it or don't know, just read out in the comment. Oh, uh, wow. <sighs> yeah, Dino, man, I, I have the thermometer on it, man. It's not going to overcook. See, this is, you guys, trust your instrumentation. It's not going to overcook. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> you know I'm lying. <laughs> you gonna get me some milk and cookies? <laughs> Yo, Alton. Yo, I can't with you, dog. I can't. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh man, Darian. Good morning to you too. <laughs> Oh, well, Ken, sorry to hear that. Oh, <clears throat> what's up, Steven? How you doing? <laughs> oh, man, Ken, it's a stupid hip replacement. Instrumentation, yes. Get thermometers. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, man, he said, keep that asparagus away from my house. I'm gonna send you some asparagus, Alton. 
Uh, does the after 12 drinking not apply since we're in quarantine? VW nerds, man, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Because, um, you know, I came outside and I started cooking. I've been up for a while. Um, and, pfft, dude... I saw a friend of mine, he had a beer in his hand and posted on Facebook, it was nine o'clock this morning. Go ahead, man, crack one open, shoot. I'm bummed because this this is number four and I brought outside and I only have like one left in the house. So if you if you wanna bring some, bring some beer to me, you can get some trout. I think that, that I you know, fair trade, right? Fair trade. VW Nerds, where are you, sir? Or ma'am? My man talking on the phone all loud. Everybody can't hear you. Let's get into this conversation. Hold on. Let me let me let me quiet. Can't hear only but half the conversation. He's not talking that loud. They have a uh, whole trout, uh, I guess. He says wild trout, but a whole trout, hopefully, is probably what he meant to say. <laughs> oh, BW nerds, have we met? Because we should know each other. If we don't, I mean, if you, if you don't know, I have been into Volkswagen for a very, very long time. I've owned three of them. Currently, my brother has my plus my uh, Jetta, lowered uh, Mark V, gray, and currently I have a. It's a Jetta Passat. Uh, excuse me, Jetta TDI, and I currently have a Passat TDI. Nothing like cooking slush. <laughs> I love it, Eric. Man, I do not recommend cooking for customers when you're sloshed. Um, Darian said, if, if I brought you some beer, would you mind make some uh, batter and deep fry the trout? No, nah, man, shoot. Uh, but you know what? Um, I've never had fried trout. Usually, my wife will blacken the trout. And this is my first time actually smoking it. So, we want to do some experimentation. <laughs> yeah, I figured, BZ. <laughs> Eric says, I agree. Fried fish is bomb. Yes, indeed. Let's see. Alton says, man, I used to roll in a black Jetta back in the day. I had the hideaway DJ in the trunk. I used to play Humpty Dance and the, hold on, and the ass <laughs> and the shit on like drop with the bass. The Humpty Dance, here's your chance. All right, come on. We're going to do some dancing. Come on, man. Right. Stop what you're doing because I'm about to ruin the style and the, that you're used to. You know, the humpty dance is your chance to do the hump. Ah, ah. Help, help me, baby. Do the humpty hump. Come on. Do the humpty hump. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> I, you know, again, I don't know either. But maybe if you cut it into small, like, slivers or strips or whatever, it'd probably be good. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Darian says, okay, well, I guess we could always just drink the beer. Damn, skip it. <laughs> oh, man. Beer distributor open down the block. What else? What's up? <laughs> the seasonal bounty said that made my whole Saturday. Well, you know, I aim to please. <laughs> oh, we got a BMW. That's a 5 Series rolling up the street. And coming down the street, this looks like a juke. Uh, yep, it's a juke. Uh-oh. They're going back up the street. I probably should put my glasses on and then I can see exactly. Uh, and your mouth barbecue is laughing. See, this is how I... <laughs> you got the car <laughs> drinking on the porch and you let your guard down. Nah, man, I'm just having a good time. I'm... I'm look, I'm... What, what else are we going to do? What else are we going to do? Anybody else want me to, you know, and we just lost Dash. No, sir. <laughs> he said the Nissan puke. I no. Nah. Buy beer stocks. Dude, out you know what I did? Um I or Izzy. 
I actually um, just ventured into the stock market um, last week, two weeks ago. We got another, another Hyundai. I'm not down, man. Shoot. It's going to take a whole lot more than this. This is only four beers. Shoot, you guys have seen me drink six from the live stream. Now, we are an hour in. So, four beers. In an hour. Oh. A little residual on my hand there. Four beers. Uh... Uh-uh, see, Izzy, I'm not trying to do the whole, um, like, day trader thing. I'm trying to buy some longer-term stuff to hold on to. I mean, really, I'm just dipping my toe in it. I'm not, uh, I ain't rich. So, I put a couple of dollars in, and <clears throat> let's see, my... I'm up currently about $50 from what I put in. Uh, but, I mean, I was up about 100 and then it dropped yesterday and it was $50. So I was down. I mean, this has just been up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. But I didn't know any better to throw money at the market in 2008. But I saw everything drop now, so I took, took, took a couple dollars and threw it in there. All right, so we are 10 degrees away, basically, from our from our set point. So soon and very soon, we are going to eat. Well, I am, and I'll be ending the live streams. Let's see, I was getting twisted on left last <laughs> on left live. GM, I have been looking at GM stock. Um. I don't know, man. It's sitting there. It's hovering at about $21 right now. And I'm like, I wanted to drop the 20. If I if it drops to 20, I might throw, I might buy. And, and this, see, this is the thing. I'm not rich by any means. So I threw $1,500 out there, right? I threw $1,500 out there. And my wife said, all right, look, we need to buy like seven or eight things and throw about $100 at everything initially. I said, okay, cool. So we get a couple. A couple stocks that were oh man we got a chevy i guess that's the chevy venture that was the minivan um so we threw a couple things out there so i think i have eight or nine different stocks currently and threw about a hundred dollars at almost all of them now then my says you know what hey let's get five shares minimum of almost everything so that right there is the kia he has something. Um, anyway, so some of the things I have five shares of, some of the things I have about a hundred dollars into. So again, not balling. We got the GMC. What is that little pickup truck? Little GMC is the, the the quarter ton GMC truck. It's, it's not a not a not the Canyon because that's a Chevy Canyon. I don't know but so i'm not i'm not i'm by no means balling no means and this is something i'm trying to look at as a long-term investment so i have a couple different things that are doing decent long term i got a couple you know telecom stuff um i wanted i've been looking at bank of america hot and heavy and also um i did i did put on my watch list uh gm so, uh, let's see a jeep meet last weekend fuzzy tacos 24 juice on the parking lot food delivered to the Jeeps chatting, <laughs> nice chatting with each other. Mozello, <laughs> Jeep social distancing, <clears throat> an investment, not a trade. Uh, nah. Well, I, I guess Alton, if you look at it that way, um, we'll see. Rudell says, uh, four beers in, it's time to bring tequila to the party. So first and foremost, I don't drink tequila. I had a bad experience with tequila. Uh, I am not a fan of tequila. I had too much tequila when I was in Mexico and don't remember being in Mexico some years ago. Uh, square stocks. 
for a day, I mean, three thousand when I sold. You look for a small company that will grow big, of course. Market dropped ten thousand points by the dips. I agree, bro. I'm gonna play stocks. I broke my rules and lost my ass. I was up about ten thousand. Now I'm down like twelve hundred because I got greedy and didn't sell when I hit my markers. Now I gotta hold it. Ah, shoot. Izzy says GM is a great price. Ah. Stop talking about GM, Izzy, man. I'm I'm trying not to get GM. I want it to drop a little bit lower, though. I don't quite know how this whole thing is going to play out with GM, and a lot of the auto manufacturers are offering zero percent. Um, what is that? Uh, another Honda? They're offering 0% financing for 72 months. And then they're offering to pay or make the car payments for 90 days. Wow. That, that's what made me pop in and look at GM. Because I was like, what? What? Uh, I'm ignoring my 401k. It's too depressing right now. Uh, look at uh, I lost about four grand in my 401k. Though my 401k is rather new. So, yeah. Uh, rather young I I actually worked with a company where I had a pension so um, my pension and I didn't start 401k as early as I should have so my 401k is only about two or three years old unfortunately um, when I started my when I worked for the other company like I said I had a pension and it was like oh I have a pension had I known now what I know then I probably would have Quite a few more dollars in my phone, okay. Oh, Joseph, he's out of the shower. Man, I swear I heard somebody singing the Humpty Dance. I know it's probably just hearing things. Whew. Nope. You heard it. Uh, if you didn't see, I also did the Humpty Dance. Catching this live, fam. Uh, keep up the good work. Thank you, BZ, man. Definitely be easy. <laughs> All right. Jeez. Uh, if everyone keeps losing their jobs, we will see a huge stock dip. Exactly, Izzy. Um, I kind of pro project or predict that if this would be this this drop that has happened is the, is the first wave. Um, I think things are going to drop down a little lower. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm <laughs> Ken says he only has a five-figure loss. Uh, I'm still trying. <laughs> says Joe we heard it live and saw it still trying to recover I'm looking to buy a stop for Caribbean and carnival dude I bought some carnival and I am pissed pissed that I did not buy Royal Caribbean Royal Caribbean dropped down to 18 or 19 dollars it has bounced back to 40 and some change talk about pissed I am waiting I am waiting I am waiting again I'm holding off. I want it to drop back down to about two. Uh, shoot, I can't wait. Let it drop down any further. But it has definitely dropped down, and I am pissed. I didn't pick any of it up. Then the reports comes out. Then I will start seeing climb. I agree. Uh, Jack and Betty. Oh, we got a VW Passat that just went up the street. All right. Well, Jack, I appreciate you being here. Though it won't be much longer, my uh, salmon I, or uh, my trout, I have a trout on the Traeger. Uh, I want it to hit 140 degrees. It is at 133. Uh, I haven't been stopped since my daughter was born. Well, Jay, you know what I did? I actually have a credit card through Chase. Okay. Um, Amazon credit card through Chase. And I invested through Chase. So zero fees zero trading fees all of that stuff if you put any options on anything then of course you have to pay money for that but i mean I'll, i i'm liking chase so far and the same app that i'm using to check my uh credit card you know uh the spending and things like that I'm, i can go in it and look at my investments uh and i mean i can even trade from my phone so i as of now, I recommend uh, Chase again. Uh, and it was one of those things where it was like, oh, <clears throat> and it, it, so, of course, I opened the credit card. And I've had a credit card with Chase for a while. 
Amazon credit card. Shut up! I'm doing a live stream here. Don't make me throw something at you. Come on, bird. Anyway, y'all saw it right over my shoulder, right? Anyway, so I have a credit card through Chase, and, and you know I use it, and things like that. And they're like, hey, we can set up an investment account. So I set up the account months ago, never actually used it, never funded the account. So last week I funded the account and I funded the account last, I think it was last Sunday. And I had to wait until like Tuesday for the funds to go in and everything like that. But purchased some stuff, got some stuff. And I mean, mind you, I didn't put much in it. Uh, I threw $1,500 at it and I said, all right, we're gonna see what this does. And I think my wife and I are going to periodically put, you know, an additional investment into it. Um, and then I'll purchase some more stocks and things like that. Uh, so, but yeah, I recommend that. Check out Tandem Diabetes from Investment Pro, ticker TNDM. You're welcome. Well, Alton, please send that to me in a text message while I'm doing this live. I am chilling. Uh, what's the interest in growth from manufacturing here in the States, I believe, will occur in the wake of this. Uh, Ken, I kind of agree because I think a lot of people are going to not trust imported products because they're going to believe that they are tainted with the coronavirus. All the food talk got me hungry. I'm going to dig out my runa stash, fry up some beans, spam. That's what's up, VW nerds. Uh, that's definitely what's up. Give it time. Yeah, yeah. You guys are puke. You know how much I lost. Buy side is this still have number of shares and buying low. Yes, indeed. Bro, all this is getting a bailout and always pop wants to bail out. Hey, yo, what you know about that Cypress Hill jump around? Yo, no, you way too young for that. What? Yo, yo, the nut about that. <laughs> All right, how you doing today? All right, tell your mama say hi. Let her know if she need anything. Let me know. All right. Uh, neighbor's kid. He's jump around, <laughs> jump around. He funny though, cause he was like more than you too. <laughs> Uh, CXK says, top of the morning. Uh, thanks for all the videos and tips. Starting a barbecue catering business for our family. Uh, to leave to my son. Well, that's what's up, man. Definitely, that's what's up. Um. Uh. Ooh. What's the best percentage of doing 401k? Uh, it depends on your age, Jay. Um. It really does depend on your age and what your fault tolerance is, how much risk you're willing to take. Well, Jay says he banks with Chase. Well, if you bank with Chase, then then you probably will have an easier time setting up um, an investment account because of the fact that if you have a Chase checking account, you can send it to your investment account much easier, much faster. Uh, whoo. Committed matches as a minimum. After that, work on paying off your debt. One step free, go to the max you can. Put in legally. Well, out and I'm not there yet. Stay away from banks. Just saying the Fed is going to go gold. Well, Eric, I don't know. <laughs> to Bobby's friends, give it down. AJG, be easy. Thank you for popping in. Company matches the offer dollar up to seven and a half percent. Jeez, Ken, I wish my company matches five percent. I think it might even be lower. It might even be three percent. Though I hope it's five percent. But I have it. I have it just over what the company matches. Uh, this sucks. I invest in. Let me know if you need any pointers. Well, CXK, uh, feel free to look up my email and shoot me some pointers for sure <laughs> pack it up pack it in let me begin i came to win battle me that's a sin <laughs> no run a home first time buyer well that's what's up jay is definitely yes 
Here's something you can't understand. Oh, I could just kill him, man. <laughs> uh. Gotta get back to work. It's been great. See you next time, Ken. Adieu. Bid you adieu. Definitely appreciate you hanging out. All right, guys, I think I'm going to end this so I can go ahead and get back to filming. We are at 136 degrees, uh, almost at my 140. And I think, oh, look, there's his mom right there. Oh, no, that's not his mom. I thought it was his mom. Oh, so wait, uh, that was another, uh, no, that's a Jeep going up the street. And that was another Chevy Venture, I think. I'm going to get to send it to 100K fast. Well, 6K, I would greatly appreciate that because one of my goals is a play button. I've always wanted a play button. Steven says, later testers, uh, later taters, stay safe, be good people, definitely. Enjoy that trout. Have a good one. Darian, you too, sir. Thank you so very much for hanging out. Uh, we are at 136 degrees, uh, and we will just... Uh, all right, you know what? How about this? I haven't done this in a while. Those of you guys who are on the live stream, say hi to yourselves for the video. So, while filming this video, I pulled out the my phone. Come on. And those of you guys who are on the live stream, go ahead and say hi to yourselves. We got Alton. We were talking about asparagus earlier, so he says trash that asparagus. Oh my gosh, look at those comments just flying. So Alice says, yo, enjoy that trout making breakfast. All right, well, Jack, you enjoy your breakfast. Yep, all paid. Uh, so we're, we were talking about other stuff. Thanks, hi, Darius says, hi, us. Nukem says, dash, no, don't say hi to me, say hi to you, all right? C, X, K says, hi. Ramonte says, what's up, what up, what up? J says, what's up, uh, what's up? And Darius says, hey, yo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait, so then Eric says, hi, Eric W. Nelson. <laughs> uh, Sean says, what up, what up? VW Nerd says, yo. So now you're going to have to go to the video when I post this video about the trout so you can see. Oh, man. All right, so look. Hold on. All right. All right, so Terry says, hello, me. And... Uh, <laughs> I look at Alton. This is a little suave move. <laughs> Russell says, What's happening? Uh, <laughs> so here's an inside look as to what you got, what I see when you guys comment when we're doing a live stream. So let's see. I'm going to try and pull out and pull back in. See, this is what happens. Stuff pops up on my phone as we're doing this. Um, so let's see what else is there. Eric says he's looking forward to seeing himself on a live stream. So this is pretty dope, and uh, thank you guys. So you see, this is how I do the comments. This is why I use my phone because when I touch the screen, I can scroll back up and back down on the comments during the live stream. So, so we're gonna get it. Yeah, you're gonna get a uh, gonna get a get a what? Eric says you and Trout. I see you watching me. Watch you watch me. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, Terry says my comments ain't working, so I can't see what people were saying. Well, I mean, sorry. Let's see. Eric says uh, you and your Trout. Yes, indeed. We are, you are getting a dash eye view. You're a dag on shore, uh, for sure. And I'm trying to move in so you can see. You need stream yards. Well, the whole thing is stream guard. The stream yard doesn't work as well on my phone. Um, and I can slow the comments down from my phone. So because, this is what you guys, so whenever I'm doing a live stream, what you guys can't see is I usually have my hand off to, so the, the camera is on this side, okay? And my hand is usually on this side. And what is what happens is I can slow the comments down so I can actually read them. Okay. So those of you guys who have trouble with comments flying too fast, the problem is you can't slow them down. Well, I've discovered that the best way for me to do live streams is on my phone. Unfortunately, that does not allow me the ability to have anyone else use or 
uh, be on the live stream with me. Uh, Newcomb says, enjoy the trout. Uh, Doug, you know exactly how I read that line. The trout of thunder. Uh, brush that corona off your shoulders. Show sure thing. And perfect. We are at 140 degrees. So I'm going to end the live stream. I'm going to tap that out so it stops beeping. I'm going to end the live stream. Guys, thank you so very much. Uh, every stand between you, too much mirror, and see yourself looking at yourself, looking at you. Oh my gosh. Come on, focus. All right. Great work. Joe says, thank you very much. All right, guys, I am out. I am going to go ahead and get the rest of my cook taken care of. So thank you guys so very much for hanging out on the live stream. I'm going to look directly at you guys. Thank you guys so very much for hanging out on the live stream. I appreciate it. And uh, thanks for helping to make my Saturday. If you saw the Humpty Dance, you guys are winning for sure. All right, Ramonte says, enjoy your day. You too, guys. All right, I'm going to, usually I stick around for a couple minutes and I say bye to everybody, but I'm gone because I need to get my trout taken off the smoker. So you guys um, keep an eye out on this video. Ramonte, definitely. Terry, definitely. And I'm gone. If you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.